Hi, Fizzy folks, and happy Sunday fun day to you. Today, a special update. I've got some new camera gear I'm gonna try out. It's a gimbal, and uh, my buddy Martin from supercyclids.com told me about this great deal, and I went ahead and bought it. And uh, so we'll see how the video goes. Hopefully, it's a little more smooth. Anyway, also, underwater footage of most of the ponds and uh, just some awesome stuff. So grab a snack and a beverage. Check out my website, michaelsfishroom.com. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, but not just hit it. I mean, I want you to obliterate it and then boop the notification bell. All right, here we go. Pond update, stand by. All right, fishy folks, here we are with the Blue Delta Pond. And you can see that there are some new plants growing out right there and there those are the plants i potted in the api pond mix api sent me some stuff to try you know i like trying new stuff except i'm brutally honest and uh in this particular pond it's doing well do i have any idea if that's because of the pond mix no i don't but i used it i liked it actually um and we'll see what happens now you can see some of the hyacinths are kind of light that's because there isn't enough um, nitrogen in the water. The fish aren't producing enough poop and waste, basically, which is fine. Uh, I have so many hyacinths from the Pleco Pond, and those are all green because those Plecos are pooping like mad. Um, and so basically, I just take some, I put them in here, and then when these die, I, uh, I move them into the garbage. Anyway, um, this is a 100-gallon Rubbermaid tote. I got it on Facebook. This is uh, the first time you're watching one of my massive pond updates. And it's simple. It's water, it's plants, it's fish, and an air stone. And that's it, there's no filtration. Well, there's no um, added filtration. The filtration is the plants and the air stone. You may say, what, the air stone's not filtration. You're right. It's not filtration, but uh, I like to add an air stone just in case it gets really, really hot because as you may or may not know, as the temperature of the water goes up, we have a little visitor, a bumblebee. Um, as the temperature of water goes up, the oxygen that the water can hold goes down. That's as simply as I can put it. So we want more oxygen so the fish can survive. Boom, air stone. Um, I don't know if we're gonna be able to see any any fish here uh, in a little while i'll show you some underwater footage of the ponds and uh there's some fish hanging out and we'll go from there um also i still do have a leak from here i've never fixed it i'm gonna see at the end of the season the best way to fix it but you can see all the all the gunk that's just gunk from the water and uh growth all right fishy folks Let's move over to the Red Cobra Pond. One of my customers, Ben, is waiting very patiently for his Red Cobras. I finally have almost all his order ready. <coughs> but uh, this has one or two males in it and about eight females. And um, with the glare, you probably can't see, but you can see some of the big hyacinths I put in here um, from the Plucka Pond the other day. And then there's some hyacinths that are dying. So I'm probably gonna take those out and add some more from the Pleco Cave. Pleco Cave? Pleco Pond. Of course, there's duckweed, uh, which basically gives shade and helps absorb um, nitrate. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, this one has no potter in it. Potter? No plant pot in it. And that's that. You can see the male. You can see the male right there just kind of looking all handsome and wanting to, uh, you know, boom, chicka, boom, boom with the girls in there. So that's nice. All right, folks, here is one of the 60 gallon Laguna totes that I got. Um, people ask me where I got them. I got them at a wholesaler and, uh, you know, part of business uh, etiquette is you don't really talk about wholesale prices and that kind of stuff. So there is an Amazon link that I can give you, but they're ridiculously expensive. I would I would go to your local fish store and say, hey, can you buy the can you get this and how much are they? So if you want them anyway. Um, <clears throat> when you see the underwater footage in here, you'll be shocked at how many fry and juveniles there are. Again, I don't remember how many put, how many adult mutt guppies I put in here, maybe eight or 10. There's like, there's a lot of fry, you'll see. Uh, this also doesn't have any extra planter. It's just hyacinths. 
There's some water lettuce, and uh, I think that's water lettuce, and duckweed. And of course, uh, in these totes, actually, I think in all of the guppy totes, um, there is uh, java moss. I love the java moss. I can't grow it fast enough. People ask me, Mike, can you, can I buy java moss if I buy guppies from you? No, I, I don't have enough to sell. I have a hard time getting it online where it actually comes in actually in good condition. Two of my uh, friends who are in the business, they tell me, hey, we can try to order it, but it doesn't always come in great. So, anywho, let's take a look at this one. You may notice there's a different top from here uh, to here, and that's simply because uh, I was trying new stuff. Like this, um, I designed first, and I really, really like it, but it took a while. This one was so much easier. Um, I want to say about the same price. Maybe this is a little bit more money, but um, you can't see the fish inside. And, and the goal of these things is to keep dragonflies out. Last year I had some aliens in my tubs and we didn't get hardly any production of mutt guppies um, or any guppy, to be honest. This year, clearly I'm doing something right. These lids, because I have a ton of mutts hopefully in red cobras and blue deltas. Anyway, uh, you can see this tub. Um, I mean, it's pretty much the same tub. Oh, there's some crushed coral in there. Uh, lots of action in here. We'll do, uh, let me just put this lid on until I film again. But um, <clears throat> the crushed coral is obviously, if you don't know, crushed coral will help maintain and raise hardness of water. And because when it rains, rainwater is soft, I want the water to be on the hard side so that uh, the guppies like it because guppies like the hard water. So this is my sump and uh, it has some duckweed in it and it has a hyacinth in it, a real nice big one. And there's fry in there. And the reason there's fry in there is uh, when I designed the tub, the totes, the system, if you will, um, just want to move that so it's covering the whole thing. Um, I had pinky filter floss on the overflows. And what was happening is the water flow in the waterfall system. So there's the overflow right there. You can see it's all gunked up with stuff. Um, anyway, the, when I had the pinky filter floss, it got even more gunked up and that kind of slowed the, the flow of the water. And I was afraid it was gonna eventually back up. So I took the overflows or the uh, pinky filter floss off and that would allow Fry basically to take a ride down the waterfall. Now it doesn't really matter because all these are mutt guppies, but if they were pure strains, I would have ruined the strain. So a couple of subscribers, actually two different people said, oh, just extend this with a pipe and cut holes in it and then wrap it with pinky filter floss and that'll that'll increase your flow. And that's a good idea. I just haven't gotten around to it. And I'll probably, you know, next year when I, when I uh, put everything back together, I will do that and we'll see how it goes. Um, speaking of next year, I did something kind of stupid. Um, I glued everything, which I, I do in the fish room because I don't really move, plan on moving things. Now, these guys are gonna be taken apart, so I may have to cut this. Um, or I could just disconnect it by uh, unscrewing it. The problem is they're hard to seal um, because the hole that comes in these totes isn't a standard size hole. And you sort of have to uh, drill the bigger hole in a hole, which if you've ever done that, you know, is kind of difficult. But we did it. All right. What do I want to show you down here? A spider. I don't know if you can see said spider, but look. Focus. Spider's too small and moving to focus. So there's a spider. Anyway, uh, Pleco Pond. I would love to tell you I figured out the GoPro in the Pleco Pond, but I haven't. I've tried a few different things um, and I really can't get good enough footage. I'm still working on it. I'm still gonna try to do it by the end of the year, but I'm just assuming based on the amount of green hyacinths that there's enough nutrients in this water for them to grow like this, those nutrients would be from Pleco waste. I don't think the six or seven pleckers I put in there could create this, so I believe there's a ton of plecker fry. That's what I'm going with, folks. Um, you can see that the pond is kind of bulging. We had some pretty bad rain this week, and uh, it definitely overflowed. Um, and when it gets this high, it basically takes some of this nice, green, healthy water, 
and throw it in the sump and then it goes through the that system and uh, the green water is great for fry it's filled with nutrients that they can eat and um, helps them grow fast big and strong um, from the tender and delicious fry that they are anyway here's some more plants that my buddy uh, Ted Coletti sent me Uncle Ted uh, sent me a bunch of plants he's a pond guru he has a tub pond handbook on Amazon I put links in my descriptions below I'll put another link in this one so you guys can check it out all right fishy folks that's it for the top side view of the ponds let's go ahead and get some underwater footage shall we All right, fishy folks, that does it for the massive pond update. My outdoor breeding for profit ponds are one of my favorite parts of the hobby. Um, I wish I lived where it was warmer, where I could have these ponds outside year round, but here in South Jersey, I get from about June to maybe the end of September, beginning of October. So this year I was gonna try to go all the way until Halloween. However, I am uh, I'm leaving for Japan in the middle of October for five weeks, so that's not gonna work. I gotta. I got to move them inside before I leave. So guys, hope you liked this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you did or didn't. I don't really care if you didn't, but I hope you did. And uh, don't forget to check out my website, michaelsfishroom.com. Hi, fishy folks. Happy Sunday fun day. Today, another massive, massive pond update because it's a massive update of the massive pond. See why there's two masses, sieves, massive, all right, fishy folks, that does it for the massive mutt guppy and other guppy and I don't know what I'm talking about.